Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with a quick craft with me. Uh, we're going to be making these beautiful paper bag pockets and I have just closed mine with a little cl uh, clip and then it opens like this and then you've got this little paper bag um, opening here really big holds a lot of stuff and I made mine so that they will hang over the page and be clipped on a page um, you don't have to do that I'm not sure I watched um, the, uh, the inspiration for this comes from Cindy over at My Altered Muse. I believe that is her name. Um, I hope that I'm not um, saying that incorrectly. But I watch a lot of her videos. She's a sweet, sweet, sweet lady to listen to. And so I needed something that was a little bit more, uh, just a little bit quicker, easier um, for this space that I'm in right now. So I went ahead. I'm like, we may as well just share the love, right? Share the inspiration with other people. Um, but that's what we're going to make today. We're going to make two on camera. So, um, but again, this is what it looks like. Um, this is the back of this one. And so, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Nice and simple. I'm working on the Grungy Summer, Summer Bees journal. So um, I've got a lot of textiles here. So this is the same lace that I used on the prototype. And then I also have some seam binding and some this. I talked about this, I think maybe I did talk about it in a video. I bought a bunch of this is actually um, gauze. No, this is not gauze. This is uh, what's it called? Um, you probably know what I'm talking about. I guess maybe it is gauze or cheesecloth or something. But I went ahead and coffee dyed it and I then I kind of dripped some acrylic ink on it because I wanted to pull out some other colors in it. So I've got a scrap of that in that color and then one that's just um, coffee dyed. So I'm going to set that aside for use. You guys have seen this lace if you've been watching um, my videos so far in this project. So I actually made a trip to Hobby Lobby this morning and I bought a bunch more of this because I, I had mentioned I only had this much left and that's not going to get me through this journal. So I do have to coffee dye it first. And then I pulled this is um, some of that vintage lace, that crocheted lace that I got from that estate sale and I showed it in another video, but this is, uh, we might use some of that as well. And then I also, this was some that I picked up from Hobby Lobby today. I'm gonna coffee dye most of it, but I might use this instead of this because it's a little bit lower profile. So I'm gonna keep that as an option there. So I have already pre-cut my pieces because I didn't want don't want the video to be too long. Additionally, I did pick up another um, another file of words, just kind of fun little sentiments and stuff. I couldn't really find anything more that was bee themed. I did buy some from Calico Collage, but they were they were like um, what do they call that? Um, they're these here. Calico, I can't remember what she called them, but you can see they're bee positive, buzzy bee, bee thankful. Um, I mean, that's kind of cool. Your pollen, pollen on my leg, the land of milk and honey. I guess that, that would be okay. I didn't read all of them, um, but I didn't want them all to be kind of like that. So I picked up this kit as well, um, which I just think is fit, fitting for any journal, any journal. Color outside the lines, it's more fun. Feathers and inks, write the story, skies, poetry. Um, yeah, so I've got that as well for sentiment. I do like to put sentiments on my projects. I've got these bits um, that we'll be using potentially as de decoration. The um, some of the kits that I'm using is I'm I'm using um, they're mix called mixed media ladies, which I'm not sure why they're called ladies because they're they're little girls and boys. But we're going to be um, on one of them. We're going to be using these images as well, and that is from Sweet Pea Curiosities. I purchased this kit a while ago, and I've just been dying to use it. And I thought I am going to introduce it into this whole grungy summer bees journal because it's grungy and they're grungy and even though I think some of the images kind of look a little bit sad ish I think they're precious I think they're precious so that's one of them and then this is the other one and then the other kit I'm using um, which is where I got these from is um, called bon Bontic Vintage Designs I will be sure to link everything in the description box for you to um, to see so and it will also be over on my blog. 
And so if you don't see something in the description box, click on the link to the blog and that will take you to close-up photos and such that you can check out. I have got two rusted paper clips. I am having a really hard time finding paper clips to rust for myself, so I did order some from Etsy, already rusted. So I'm super stoked that those will be coming soon. So there we go. So let's get this set aside. So in order to get the effect, let me grab this again. In order to get this effect where we have, um, we have this, I don't know if you guys can see it this way. I'm going to pull that back so you can see what the overlap is. So that we have a good overlap to hold this shut, to hold this pocket shut. Um, I'm going to show you where I'm actually folding the paper bag because they are pretty... Uh, pretty versatile in in that you can you can decide how much you fold it up so you could fold it here and have it be taller because um, it, what it's going to do is it's going to bend back like that okay it's going to bend back like that and then you can decide if you want that to go underneath there so um, so I am having it go up and I already actually made a line here just so that I didn't have to fuss with that and as you can see paper bags lunch bags are generally very very um, imperfect so we're working with the imperfection I forgot to grab my fabric tack here which is my preferred glue at this time I am going to grab my art glitter glue just in case and so we're going to start by folding this up Okay, so I'm going to fold it up to that line, which is kind of tricky because I can't, I can't see the mark. <laughs> Once I start folding it, that's all right. And I'm just going to pull that down. It's not quite high enough, so I probably didn't look at that, make that line quite in the right spot. <clears throat> I think that is good. So we've got that, and I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit of ink on this edge so that we can see that because we're going to be opening and unfolding and folding this um, as we start to put papers on so that will give us that line and then um, the other thing is you might notice this one's not doing it too bad but I'm going to peel some of that up and I'm going to just trim that off because I don't want that sticking up like that so it just doesn't adhere I mean you could glue it all the way down which I don't maybe that would be better uh, but I'm going to just trim it off since that's what I decided to do uh, I hope you guys are doing okay. I I don't um, I like to keep you guys posted. At the same time, I don't want to always be sharing a sob story, you know. But um, I did get food poisoning after my surgery. Um, yeah, and I'm I'm. This is like day four, and I'm still struggling. Like I'm feeling better today, but. I'm struggling when I eat. I just, my body is just not liking it. And I don't get the stomach flu, you guys. I don't, I don't get the throw up flu. Um, so that's how I know. I'm, per, I'm firmly believe that it is food poisoning and not the flu or stomach bug. So there we go. So that's what we've got going on. So we're going to cover this piece separate. We're going to cover this piece separate. We're going to cover the back and we're going to cover the front and then we're going to glue this down to that. In fact, I think we'll start there. So um, you don't want to get your um, glue over here. I did that as a mistake on one of mine. You just want to get it on this gusseted part. Otherwise, everything's going to kind of get stuck. So you have to be willing, though, here to embrace the imperfection of those those edges and stuff. It's not, not a huge deal, but so we're just going to get that all glued up watching out for that divot that I don't, want. I don't want to get a bunch of glue where I don't want it. So we're just going to fold that up. Move that out of the way. I'm going to fold this up like that. I'm so thankful for other crafters. I'm glad that we can kind of turn on our YouTube and we can get inspiration when we're maybe just don't have the energy level to come up with something or you know sometimes it's just that that thing you saw is just exactly what you were looking for so I hope that people consider that a compliment when we when we do take inspiration from them and then I just encourage people to go and watch that creator as well just that's an honoring thing to do so there we've got our large gusset so we're going to go ahead and start with um, covering that base so I just basically decided where I wanted it folded I lined this up and then I just pencil marked it 
um, to fit that space. So that's what I did. You could measure, of course. So the reason why I purchased another kit is because I like to make a lot of stuff and I, sometimes I find that one kit just doesn't doesn't fit all my needs in terms of the ephemera. I, t I tend to like more design background papers, more journal papers, um, and sometimes less ephemera pieces because I don't always use all the ephemera pieces, but I love to make tags and journal cards and and you know things like that out of just background paper. So this is a background paper from that uh, creator I was talking about, Bentic, Bontic, excuse me, Vintage Designs. This is my favorite image that they did. It's a whole sheet. You're only seeing, oh, maybe this is the other part of it so I can show you the whole thing. Is that the whole thing? Yep. So this is the whole paper. Isn't that amazing? Maybe that's not it. I don't know. But anyway, no, because that's that. <laughs> but anyway, that's the rest of it. Love it love it so much so there you've got that and then we've got these two pieces one being a little bit wider than the other so the narrower one is going to go here and actually I'm going to keep that closed so that I get it so I can see my top I should probably have inked this um, things can be inked afterwards I'm still having trouble with that that piece of envelope or paper bag here so I'm just going to Put a little bit of glue there. <clears throat> Having trouble with my art glitter glue lately. Uh, it's really frustrating me. Um, so I may go back to the Barely Arts glue because it's just, I don't know, I just prefer it. So I don't, I'm not worried about gluing those bits down. It's not going to be a problem. And this is actually um, the a piece of the bottom of this paper. So I thought that was perfect. Which way do we want it to go? I think like that. I just think these are so cute and so versatile any for any journal. You know, you could glue them down, you could clip them on as I'm going to do, and uh, do whatever kind of suits you, play around with it. Got to move that over because, again, our paper bag is imperfect, so we're going to have this extra stuff on the sides, and that is okay. I'm not going to fret about it. I'm just going to ink it up and um, and be happy be happy so yeah having food poisoning when you have just had surgery on your throat is uh, or on your neck is is not a good scene at all like oh my gosh I couldn't have thought up a worser thing but terrible I didn't I decided I didn't really necessarily care about any putting anything there so I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna turn this over and that is crooked Let's see if we can straighten that out a little bit there we go so we're gonna go ahead and cover this piece with this one and these are just scraps from the other pages that I use they're just they're just the extra bits You'll have to go check out um, my Altered Muses um, video on this because she did these fit this fantastic embellishing with bows and you know sari silk and it was just so cool. I need to watch it again when I have a little bit of a clearer mind because she actually showed how to do some of the bows. So what have we got going on here still? For goodness sake, let's see if we can get the itty bitty scissors in here to, you just want to be careful not to cut anything off, cut anything open, you know. Again, you use paper bags, you got to embrace imperfection fully because they are never, never the same. <laughs> very, very messy, but this is a mixed media journal, so there we go so and then we've got this and I was debating I think I want most of that orange to show oh maybe I didn't cut that correctly then uh oh what nope it's this way I guess it's that way or it could be this way I think I want a lot of that orangish to show I feel like it might be a little bit too big nope 
Well, I'm going to trim just a bit off because it feels like it's just buttoned up on that edge a little bit too close for my liking. Get some glue or glitter glue in there. Probably didn't get that fabric tack quite quite to the edge. There we go. So this is the front in my uh, my choice. <laughs> Look at how irregular that is. It's so crazy. But you know what? It's okay. So let's decide on some lace. So I think I am going to Maybe I'll use the smaller lace on the other one, and maybe I will use this lace on this one. I kind of like that. Um, so I think I will go ahead. This is the last of this lace, too. I need to figure out where I got it. Um, so let's go ahead and just, I'm going to kind of do it similarly. I'm going to go a little bit further down because my rusted paper clip, um, well, you know, it's not going to matter. Paper clip is going to go on that lace no matter what, and it gets caught. So we're just going to be, we're going to work with it, okay? So I'm just going to set that on there like so. It's a, it's a mixed media style journal, so I don't care if it's irregular or scraggly. I don't like it to stick over that much, though. That looks a little bit strange, so I'm going to just go ahead and clip it off. But I mean, this really like frays out because of the, the weave of the lace, so um, got a little bit of a bent part there. So that is that, and... Um, 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 let's see what else we want to do. The back. Let's see what did we do on the back of this one. I think I did the same on the back, which I think I would like to do that. Just go ahead and go with one more um, piece of this. Why not? So today, when I woke up, was the first day I have, I mean, I went to work on Monday. This is actually Wednesday. I only had to show up for one day of work this week because school is just getting ready to start. And, um, and so I went and I was fine until I, and then I went with some coworkers and had some lunch out, which I vowed I wasn't going to do that. Um, but I did, and then I came home, and I was like, it started all over again, which, I don't know, that almost leads you to believe it's the flu, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, but, so today, Wednesday, was the first day I woke up, and I didn't feel just awful. I don't have a headache today, and I've had a pounding headache every day, and it doesn't really respond to anything. And, um... But then I, I went and had to pick up a few things at the grocery store, some more tummy stuff and some 7-Up. And, <clears throat> and then I came home, I bought some cans of soup, some chicken noodle soup, had some of that for my lunch, and not a good scene. So, but I got to eat, so. Alrighty, so we've got some, we got to put something on here. I didn't plan for an embellishment here. Let me pull out the stuff from my porch print. good <laughs> wow look at that I actually like that it lightens it up I feel like I need to trim it up though because it's not I can tell it's not straight so let me should have used the trimmer to start with and again this, these are still printed on the coffee dyed linen paper that I talked about in another video and in the future guys I would I wouldn't advise you necessarily to print on coffee dyed paper unless you've got a really robust printer my printer struggled a lot um, 
I mean, it didn't break it, it didn't get jammed or anything, but I had to really babysit it. And so I don't know if it's really good for our printers to do that. Um, you could get the same effect virtually by, um, by just um, printing a digital on your paper and then printing a, a digital coffee dyed paper and then printing your kit on it um, because you'd get that dark. It's the dark that we're talking about that's so beautiful. However, I love, I don't know if you can see that, um, the linen look of the paper. I'm not sure if you can see it on a camera, but I love that. I think this needs to go here, right there. Okie dokie. We have a decision. <laughs> and I love how it inks up. Right. Does it need to go in the middle? I feel like it needs to go in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a symmetrical girl, even in a grungy journal. I don't do well. I don't, um, I never put anything diagonal. Like if I'm doing something, I don't put a quote diagonal. I just, to me, it looks really strange. Um, of course, you know, you do you, and if that's pleasing to you, then then do it, but I don't care for it myself. So that's that, and then I thought we could use this um, circle, or the B, right here. Except I can see that I cut it, I didn't quite cut it right. This strange shaped uh, digital here. So let me just trim that up and see if I can fix it. I can see where it's irregular. It bother me. Probably made it worse. But I thought that would be pretty right there as well. What do you think? Is that too much? I don't know if it's too much. We could also use this, which I think would be prettier. Yeah, I like that. So I think I'm going to put a little bit of this gauze or whatever, whatever it actually is. I'm not sure under there. So I'm just going to cut a piece of this and I obviously can separate it and make that, that bit really stretch a ways. I'm being careful to not go lower than the, the um, actual piece of paper underneath the flap. I'm only going to here because I don't want to glue anything down. So I'm just going to set that on there and just kind of scrunch it a little bit like so. And we'll put this on here. Oh, that was too small now. My circle's too big. Karen, eh? That'll work. I just love this honeycomb paper though. It's gorgeous. Perfect. Okay, so let's see if we can find some um, some sentiment here. Let's see if I can easily reach my some of these these words. So um, be grateful, be loving. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> be in your bonnet. I like that. Be in your bonnet. I like that. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> How cute. Calico collage. She does amazing work. Amazing work. I also like to really kind of vintage up these words now. I don't like them to be too clean and precise. Oh, that is really pretty. Love it. word. I should maybe be laying down or something. I actually don't feel too bad, you guys. I just feel kind of blah, like blah. You know, like you want to make that that sound, you know, like your tummy is feeling blah. Okay. I don't have COVID though. I did do a COVID test since I am heading back to school. I want to make sure I'm not exposing anybody to anything. There we 
go. And then the front. I think I will go ahead and um, let's see if we can quickly come up with something for this. I think I'm going to wait on this. I want to show you the second one. So I will finish this up off camera. And as usual, you can see the photos, see the finished product in the photos at the end of the video. So I'm going to go ahead and um, do this one as well really quickly. So again, folds back. I'm going to go ahead and trim this off. Love that paper. I think I said that. I forgot to glue my gusset, so I'm going to do that really quick. Not the gusset, but the back of it. The back of the paper bag. So I'm going to be coming to you with part two of my junk journal my junk journal planner uh, project. So that'll be coming up here. You will have already seen part one by the time this one's on the channel. So I would love to hear your feedback about whether or not you'd like to see um, how I do that, how I do that entire planner. Um, you can let me know. Um, yeah, I think I am going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the cover with you on camera. I'm going to do all of it. So, um, and then probably do a sampling of one of the months so you can kind of see what papers I want to put in it. Okay, there we go. So then we've got this piece to go right here. I just love this paper. It's so gorgeous. This kit was actually, um, it's oil painted. It's oil painted images. Um, I mean, that's the original artwork was oil painted. I'm going to show you a, a page. I have printed a few. I didn't print everything because I'll never use it all, but I want you to see this beautiful, this beautiful work. Look at this. Look at that. It's absolutely stunning. So yeah, really beautiful. Okay, so that is that. I've got all this excess garbage over here. Again. <laughs> ah. Okay, so now we're going to turn her over and we're going to put this piece here. Is that there or in that way? I can't really tell. Yeah, like that. I think I'm going to. Um, I'm going to put it in that direction though because I want this down in this corner. And this was actually, when I coffee dyed this paper, you can see that crease. So I just uh, accentuated it by inking it. thought that looked kind of cool. That's the stuff that the printer doesn't like though, is that um, the wrinkled parts of the coffee dyed paper. Um, I do like this paper bag work though because you can really literally throw all caution to the wind and just embrace the um, embrace the imperfection of the actual paper bag. Did I say envelope before? I think I might have. Oh my goodness. Art glitter glue. My nemesis. I'm just going to stick some fabric tack in there. I'm just going to lay that down. Press. There we go. Alrighty. So that is that. And this one, I think I want to introduce some different lace too. So I thought that this would be, uh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. This one's completely the same front and back. So I've got one image to go on the front and I thought she would be fun to kind of put over here to the side so that I could see this 
corner or the back side, it doesn't matter. Um, I feel like she's now too tall. I think she should not be taller than the, the space, so I'm going to trim it up a little bit more. Just my preference. Nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah, like that. So we can kind of see a border around her. So let's put her there. And this is the part where I'm wondering if I want to put something underneath her. So I think we should use some more of this gauze or whatever it is. I love how you can see those colors peeking through. I think it's really complimentary. And I love how it's just peeking out from, from behind her, which I think is really lovely. I have to decide on some other lace though. Some other textile stuff. I wanna make sure I put her down low enough though, so that yeah, so it clears that area. And I'm going to put a little bit more Fabri-Tac here. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so that is that. So now I need to think about, do I want to put, oh yeah, we wanted to do this lace, didn't we? Because it's a little bit lower profile. I'm just gonna cut a length of that off and yeah because it can go right there I wish I had I wish I'm in a coffee dye some of this but I don't have any coffee dyed right now so and this is going to be too way too much and what about this I'm not really feeling that that cream lace for some reason here that is, oh my goodness, that is actually stunning. That is stunning. We're going to do it. So I'm going to cover that whole piece. That may, may change our closure situation. I may end up doing, a Vel doing some Velcro dots to hold this together on the bottom because it's going to be, it's going to be tricky to get the paper clip on here and have it not um, get hung up so oh my goodness I'm gonna have it kind of go up above a little bit just kind of willy-nilly oh my goodness that's amazing if I could coffee dye my kitchen sink I would no seriously I have probably coffee dyed my kitchen sink my husband rolls his eyes with all the things that get in my kitchen sink but we have a white sink like we need a stainless steel sink <laughs> That would solve that problem, right? But I love coffee dyeing. Okay, and then I'm gonna trim that edge off. This is, I got another piece of this. Um, when I went to the coast, I stopped at my favorite antique shop in um, Wheeler, <coughs> excuse, excuse me, Wheeler, Oregon. And I found another piece that's similar to this. I just need to get it coffee dyed, so. All right, I love that. I love the grunge. Oh my gosh. Okay, do we do the same on the other side? It feels wasteful to do that on both sides, but it's so beautiful. You know, I'm a firm believer that we can't live our life treating everything as so precious that we're afraid to use it. So we're going to use it, okay? I really, really work hard at not hoarding precious things. So they're here for our enjoyment and it's okay. So I'm just gonna set that on there and I'm just gonna kind of raise it up there and I'm gonna move it over so I can kind of equalize it. I didn't equalize the other side in terms of where those scallops end up falling, but this is, um, this is a lot, like this is a lot of added bulk with that lace, but 
as I mentioned in pretty much every journal making process, I allow for that bulk in my journals because I like the freedom of being able to create in that way. And so I make a, I make a larger spine to account for that, that extra bulk. Oh, that's so cool. So cool. And what I love about this is I love that you can make this your own. You know, you can add your own flair and your own style to it. It doesn't have to look like anybody else's. <clears throat> it's just so incredibly flexible. I love that so much. It got that too cut off though. But again, it's grungy, it's imperfect, and we're going to embrace it. So that is the front and the back, and oh my gosh. So let's finish up with one more thing here. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Um, again, you can see the photos at the end. I'm going to put, put put this image somewhere on the back of this one, and I'm going to um, fiddle around with my rusty paper clips and put um, a sentiment on this one on both sides. And I will see you in the next video, you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.